you see outside? Plants. Correct. Most plants reproduce through seeds. There are two kinds of plants. They are the flowering plants. Flowering plants produces flower. It also produces seeds. These flowers help in the reproduction. And the non-flowering plants. Non-flowering plants are those that never produce a flower. Some non-flowering plants still produce seeds. Some plants bear seeds, like pine trees, cycads. Some plants also never bear seeds, but they do have spores. Do you know what this plant is? This is ferns. Come on, check this out. Do you see those block, tiny dots? We call this spores. Spores can fall into the ground and it can become a new plant. La, 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 la. Reproduction takes place in flowers. A flower has some basic parts. Here are the sepals, which are usually green and leaf like. It protects the developing bud. The petals are colorful to attract birds and insects that can help in pollination. Now, these are the stamen, which is the male reproductive part of the flower. These are made up of anther and the filament. The anther stores and produces pollen, and the filament holds up or support the anther. Next is the pistil. This is the female reproductive part of the flower, which consists of the stigma, style, and the ovary. The topmost part of the pistil is called the stigma. The stigma is sticky to attract the pollen from insects. The style is the long tube that connects the ovary to the stigma. The ovary holds the ovules. This is where seed formation takes place. Video. I hope you will keep in tune and watch the next video regarding reproduction.